Hi, today I'm happy to show you the updated Netpeak Checker 3.5. We have many improvements in scraping of Google search results page, so let's move to the tool and see what we have changed. Starting from this version, we will execute JavaScript when scraping Google Serps, and it means more data for analysis. For example, now you can scrape paid and Google Shopping results and feature snippets. Also, we have added new parameters to the table, such as additional information. Here you can see tags from snippet side features, like phone numbers, prices or calories for recipes date to understand how old the result is, breadcrumbs, and improved scraping of our previous parameters. Settings tab got a little refreshment too, and instead of images, videos, and side links, you can scrape rich snippets, which contain dates, prices, and similar, SERP features, such as additional results as videos, images, and recipes, and sponsored results to collect promoted and Google Shopping results. If you want to analyze a result page with all additional Google features, tick on all three checkboxes. But if you need only organic results, turn them off. That's it for Search Engine Scraper, and let's move to the main table. We understand that sometimes learning all these updates may be frustrating or you just don't have enough time to do it by yourself. If that's the case for you, I'm inviting you to our webinar, where my colleagues will show you all the latest updates and functionality of our tools, and also answer all your questions personally. You can sign up for a webinar following the link in the video description. As soon as Netpeak Checker can execute JavaScript when scraping Google Serps, we can collect more parameters and get old ones back. Here are several of them. First, indexed URLs, which may help you see an approximate number of documents that are indexed for an exact website. Many specialists asked us to get it back, so I'm happy to say that we managed this. Number of found mentions, according to Google for page or website. Site links, which may be used as a sign of trust to a specific URL. Number of related pages, cached URL. And the last one, root domain group indexing. A lot of people want to quickly check if at least one mirror of the website is indexed. It may help you in cases if you have a list of websites and uh, you need to check their indexing. But you don't know if they are using secure connection or not, or do they have www at the beginning. So use this parameter in that case. That's it for updated Netpeak Checker 3.5, let's briefly run through all the changes. Today all updates are about Google SERP scraping. Now you can collect paid and Google Shopping results, rich snippets, and additional SERP features, such as recipes. Also in the main table you can collect more parameters. Here are several of them. Number of index documents for a website number of mentions or related pages for website, and uh, check indexing of at least one mirror of the website. Thanks a lot for your attention. If you like Checker 3.5 and this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day and a lot of traffic. Bye-bye.